What happens when we start to believe that tomorrow will end up being just like today because today seems like yesterday? It is so easy to fall into that particular thought pattern because life is life and life is real and things happen, especially when they take us by surprise. There is no hit worse than the one that you didn't see coming. Now, church folk had this little cute little saying, I'm too blessed to be stressed. Oh my gosh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Let me say it one more time. I hate that saying because it's so stupid. Because if Jesus himself, who was fully man, but at the same time still fully God, can stress so much that he sweat blood, why are we exempt from being stressed and upset and discouraged? You know, (laughs) church folks don't like to, they don't like to um, really admit when they are down and discouraged. You see, the first step to rehab is admitting that you have a problem. And when you have issues, no matter whether you're stuck in a certain mindset or, you know, you, you just need a miracle, you know, you have to go to God and say, God, this is where I am. It's just like a GPS. You have to put um, your current location in so God can meet you where you are. You have to identify where you are. You have to be real about it. You have to be authentic so God can really help you. Now, it's okay to hurt and feel and go through what we have to go through. But the problem is we stress over tomorrow. In Matthew 6, it says, take no thought for tomorrow because tomorrow has its own issues. I'm just uh, summarizing it. And I know there's a version in the Bible that says, take a thought for tomorrow because tomorrow has enough evil thereof. Now, that's something. It has enough evil thereof. So the strategy of Satan is to get us to have a heart attack and stroke, trying to solve a problem that may or may not even exist on the next day. Jesus is here today to provide today. Now, men, as family men, we are always stressing, driving ourselves crazy trying to provide the best possible life for our families. Now, there's nothing wrong with trying to provide a good, stable life. However, unknowingly, we will step over boundaries and then we become God. We try to be God. And we are not strong enough to carry the load like he does and like he can now, we have to let God be God. And that's hard sometimes because we go through our mix. And like I said, life happens and we can get discouraged. We can get um, uh, depressed. And we can get to an area of hopelessness. And as a believer, yeah, that can happen. That's why we go to church on Sunday and we wake up Monday morning defeated. Because the whole time we were in church screaming hallelujah, we were thinking about tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. You know, tomorrow, that same problem that you think might or might not, you know, the problem that you're thinking about, it might exist and it might not. Sometimes we think about tomorrow and we don't even know if it really would be an issue. But see, that's the strategy of Satan. He wants to push us into this uh, this disparity of uncertainty. And see, we want to be in control naturally because when we feel like we're in control, we kind of have a better uh, mental handle on things. But the reality is God is in control. And we have to remember that. That's why community is so important. You know, I'd be feeling off-key myself. I was off-key mostly, you know, the whole weekend. You know, but I have people to call on that I can talk to, that can counsel me and bring me back, back to life. I mean, you know, over the weekend, not only have I, you know, that I talk to somebody, I've also, you know, listened to, I enjoy listening to Tony Evans because he addresses this very issue. And listening to his teaching, it was like somebody shocked me with a defibrillator. It's like it brought me back to life. Because, you know, 
you're gonna go through problems you're gonna go through issues you're gonna be down you're gonna be up you're gonna move side to side that's what happened that's what life is but you can't stay there it's not easy but the principle is simple now we have to call on the Holy Spirit to help us fight this war in our minds trying to take control and solve issues for tomorrow 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 we have to worry about today Tomorrow has his own issues. God will work tomorrow the way he wants to. He will provide for tomorrow. We have to be focused on today. And remember, God will provide. God sees us and he hears us. God is not a liar. He cannot go back on his word. and His word will never return void. Be encouraged, everyone. Remember to get involved with community. And I mean, you can't just go around talking to everybody because some people you talk to, they bring you down and, and you, you be in the worst predicament you, you, know, you, were, you were in the beginning. Find somebody that you can really talk to, somebody who has been through what you're going through, who can talk you through it because they can tell you how God worked it out, how God did it, how God... Just did a new thing and also like this video and share it. Uh-huh. Let's encourage each other. Siri, be quiet. Everybody's talking to you. All right, y'all. Thanks so much for watching.